Hey YouTube, I'm back again. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today um, about one of the things that's a huge piece of my life that people usually find a bit interesting when they get to know me and I start talking about it. Uh, and that would be the fact that I was adopted. I mean, it's maybe not a huge deal. There's a lot of kids who are adopted, but it's one of those things that I like to talk about because for anybody who is adopted, it's one of those things that there's a part of your life and a part of how you would perceive yourself that's missing. And a little bit about mine, I was born in Marshalltown, Iowa. I was adopted through the Child Saving Institute. Uh, the kind of adoption that I was put through is what's called, I think, a semi-closed adoption where I'm not allowed to have direct contact or know my um, birth parents, at least right away. But I'm given a certain amount of information about them. I have these papers that have all kinds of information about how, like, my birth mother was 100% Irish and Catholic, and my birth father was half Irish, half German, and Methodist. And, like, some physical descriptions. Um those kind of things. And it's, people ask me when I found out, you know, my parents never tried to hide it from me. Um, I, I remember knowing about it since I was about five years old, when they actually explained to me what it all was and everything. And I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that it, it bothered me, but it's left some kind of unanswered questions about myself. And that's why recently I got in contact with the agency to try to find my birth parents. Now that's going to work is they're going to track them down and ask them if they want to meet me. And if they do, they'll set something up. If they don't, it's not going to happen. And that's how that works. And not only was I interested in finding out more about myself like that. I wanted more than anything else to know if I had siblings. Well, first off, I figured my mother's Irish Catholic. There's no way I don't have siblings. But I wanted to know if I had siblings and if I could meet them. Because I've been an only child my whole life. You know, my, my folks were great and everything, but as I think I've mentioned before, I they haven't had any brothers or sisters or anything. And it's just one of those things that I figure would be kind of cool to feel, to experience. And so I'm waiting for that to happen. And then I'll just talk about That's it. That's the whole story. Bye, everybody.